Alrighty guys, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. I'm filming this with my webcam. Um, usually I think I'm going to use either my phone or my iPad, but this is what I decided to go with today to see how this thing works. Um, because it's newer. So, this is my first book, YouTube, book two, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm just going to break down some of the books about all this past month. Now, this isn't all of them. Don't tell my dad. But, um, yes, I am a 27-year-old adult, and I still don't want my father to know how many books I bought. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to dive in, and some of these books are used. I'll get into that, how they were purchased. Um, but I did buy several of these new at Books A Million last weekend when I was out of town. Um, so... I will state that if it was bought new or what the case may be, but um, first off, and forget this cover, it had like a little mark, it was a misprint, and I was trying to fix it, and I accidentally cut too much. Um, doesn't look bad though, but this is Malice by Heather Walter. I follow her on TikTok, and I am pumped for this book. Um, basically what this is is a sapphic retelling of Sleeping Beauty. Um, the tagline is, a princess isn't supposed to fall for an evil sorceress, but in this darkly magical retelling of Sleeping Beauty, true love is more than a simple fairy tale. So, I'm excited. Um, nothing like too special under the dust jacket, but I do like this spine. It's white with some like gold, like not gold, um, some red, shimmery lettering. I don't know exactly what I call that, uh, so forgive me. But yeah, this is Malice. Um, like I said, I messed up the cover. My own fault. I will figure something out for that. Um, then I got these Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Um, this is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet, but it is set in 1926 in Shanghai and oh my god you guys you have to see this cover I'm sure you've seen this before but I'm going to show you so it's got this silver fulling that's the word I was looking for a second ago fulling and look at this it's got the dagger and fulling I love it really excited for that I've been looking at it for a while and I just decided to finally get it um then I have most of the Red Queen series, and the only thing I was missing, I believe I might miss one other, but um, Broken Throne, the uh, collection of short stories. So I got that, and I love these. I would rather have the Red Queen series and hardback, to be honest with you guys, but they still turn out really pretty in paperback. So... <clears throat> Then I have the Lost Apothecary, uh, the La Lost Apothecary, sorry, I can't talk, I get tongue-tied, forgive me. Um, and this is by Sarah Pinner, and pretty simple, but there is some fooling on the, gold fooling on the spine. Then these next two books are by the same author, um, and I'm really excited because I follow Aiden Thomas on TikTok. And both of these seemed amazing. I have Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. Look at that cover. It's such gorgeous art. Um, basically, this is Yadriel has summoned a ghost and now he can't get rid of him. And I love this cover. I get really excited when there's things hidden on the hardcover. So we've got this and this little picture here. And then the front has these little pretty flowers. So, that's gorgeous. Um, and then we also have Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas. Um, and this is um, about when children go missing, people want answers. And it's about Wendy from Astoria, Oregon. Um, I won't get too far into it, but this is the fine it's like it's a blue cover with this pink fully well not fully a full 
but this is like glossy he um almost looks like there's some glitter it just looks really pretty together um and if you can't tell i kind of love peter pan so i was really excited for that okay now this is all either ollie's or thrifted um so my only bad experience with thrift books lately has been I found Still Me by Jojo Moyes at Ollie's for like $3 I think. I can't remember right now. Um, and I loved the first two books. I had them on my Kindle. So I was like, you know what? I found this. It's a sign to get books one and two in physical copies. Well, book one came no dust jacket wasn't marked that way um so i called them the guy i talked to was great he sent me a new copy it's a library he copy of me before you that's fine i don't care as long as it has a dust jacket i don't care um but after you came and it did not have a dust jacket so i called them and the guy i talked to then he was like nope sorry it was indicated i'm like no the copy I selected didn't but I think what happened is I had selected um, something that gave me like 60 cents off I can't remember exactly what it said and that is how I ended up with no dust jacket so it may have been my fault but I didn't see it so he wouldn't fix it um, so I gave that copy and the no dust jacket copy of me before you to my mom because uh, they told me I didn't have to send it back and my best friend caught me a copy of After You from um, McKay's. I don't know if this is everywhere, but it's in Winston-Salem. So I have this. Um, it's a little dirty. There's like a coffee stain on the back. It's okay. Nothing that can be, that's damaging, damaging. The pages are fine. And I'm sure I can fix that. Um, just gotta get like something to clean it. But even though it's paperback, it has a cover and that makes me happy. So at least until I find it in hardback with a cover, I'm good. Um, then my best friend also bought me the Trill, the Complete Trilogy, Switch, Torn, and Ascend by Amanda Hawking. Because she had this and it looked really good because I flicked through hers. So she got me this because she had a free book on thrift books. I mean, maybe a little bit addicted to books. Um... And she also found me this series. I don't know anything about it, to be honest with you. It's something she found that she wanted to read. And we like to read stuff together. So, um, she got me the Bad Girls Don't Die series. Three books. I think that's all there is. Otherwise, she probably wouldn't have got them all. But, um, yeah. This is the Bad Girls Don't Die series. So let me scoot those over. And then we're going to get into my, oh, she also got me um, Charlene Harris After Dead, the never before published um, stuff from Charlene Harris. I believe this is short stories, if I'm not mistaken. It's really cute in cover. And then inside, they've got this, which is really pretty. Um, and... I don't, I don't think it's the same thing, but basically, same in the back. Um, I haven't ever finished the Suggy Stackhouse series because I just have got them. They're on my list. My TBR. You all know about TBRs. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, she got me that. And then, I made an Amazon purchase. Um, first, I got me and her both Den of Vipers. I know this is a dark romance that is controversial, but I'm excited. Um, but basically, this is about Roxy. Her father sold her to um, this gang called the Vipers, I guess this gang. Um, I haven't read it yet. I've read it a little bit because I tried to do audiobook. I don't like audiobooks. Um, and then I have it on Kindle Unlimited, but I hadn't got too far into it because I am finishing After Ever Happy. Yeah, ever, I don't like the way that title is arranged. Anyway, so Den of Vipers um, in paperback. And then 
forgive me if this isn't in the right order that I'm going to hold them up, but I got from Blood and Ash, Crown of Gilded Bones, and a Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. So I'm dying to read it. So I got those, they're paperback because I like hardback. I do, as you can tell. But from what I was seeing on Book Talk, um, really wasn't worth it to spend the extra money on hardback for those because they are all pretty similar. Um, but then, last stack is my Ollie's haul from yesterday. Um, I can't pronounce his last name, so forgive me. But I got All the Crooked States by Maggie um, Stufetter. I don't know if I said that right. If I said that really wrong, forgive me. Um, so I got that. And then I got these two cheesy romance novels that look good. The Only Thing by Marie Hart and All American Cowboy by Dylan Crush. Um, then I normally don't get movie covers, but I did get Racing in the Rain. Um, this is apparently a special adaptation for young readers. Oops. I just saw it. I saw Milo on the cover. He's one of my major crushes. So whatever. Um, then I got more scary stories to tell in the dark for $1.99. And this is collected by Alvin Schwartz. Drawings by Stephen Gamble. I don't know where this falls in that series. But I'd like to collect them all. Um, then I got this big mama or big daddy, whatever you want to call it. Edgar Allan Poe, Complete Tales and Poems. Um, I assume this is all, all, I don't know, but it has 73 short stories and 48 poems, including The Fall of the House of Usher, The Purloined Letter, The Telltale Heart, The Raven, and The Marauders in the Rue Morgue. Um, and this was only $6.99. Um, if you have an Ollie's near you, like, I know it's a bargain outlet, but they get overstock like, of all these books. So, you can find some real finds there for cheap. Um, so, there's that. Um, I also like graphic novels. So, I got, and comics, obviously. Um, I got Deadpool, the complete collection. Um, I don't know, like, if it's a certain series or what exactly it is. Um, but this normally goes for $34.99. And I got it for $6.99. At least that's what the sticker says. If, if I'm wrong, I'm just reading the sticker. <laughs> so, I got that. It's pretty thick. So, pretty good. Um, I also got the compendiums of Walking Dead three and four at Ollie's a while back and those things go for like 30 some dollars um at the least and I got them for $9.99 each so I mean yeah um but then I also got this isn't my favorite DC couple I am a DC queen I love DC comics but I got Superman and Wonder Woman power couple um this is the new 52 I do they're two of my favorites so I had to have it, um, yeah. that normally is $16.99 and I paid $3.99. And then this one's normally $19.99 and I paid $4.99. It's the Green Arrow Volume 4, The Kill Machine. I obviously need the other volumes, but you know what? I pick up the ones I'm interested in when I see them there. But yeah, um, and I'm pretty sure that's it for the month of May. There may be a few more. Um, actually, let me look here because I'm pretty sure I ordered a few others from Thrift Books that I don't have in my hand right now. So, let's take a look at the app. Um, my help. Let's see. Um, I did try to get a new copy of Burn from House of Night because some girl that I used to be friends with, um, she borrowed them and she didn't return the dust cover for that so I tried to get that 
but it didn't have a dust cover. Um, and then I got Day 21 in the um, 100 series. And that's the only thrift books orders for the month. Um, but I think I... I got a few others at um, Ollie's at the beginning of the month, I believe. Like, uh, let me look at my list. Because I have a personal library document on Word. Um, so... Beneath the Haunting Sea by Joanna Ruth Meyer. Um, looked pretty cool. I got it. And I think that's it. Um, that I can really think of. Um, I know there's more because I have... I'll be completely honest with you guys. I've hyper fixated on buying books lately. Um, don't know why. But it's the thing. So, um, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I want to try to do more book talk uh, book talks. This is YouTube. Um, I try to do more booktubes. Um, I want to do a video about a couple of my favorite series, um, and we'll see what happens. But this channel's all about my nerdy stuff, um, so we'll see. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.